Speaking of children, iPads, cell phones, TVs, our kids are constantly tethered to technology these days. But what are you doing while they're staring at the screen? New research shows that mom and dad are often using these devices as virtual babysitters. As Channel 2's Sarah Donchi reveals, all that screen time is having a real effect on relationships between parents and their children. Call it the tablet trance. I can literally come in the door from work if they're downstairs and hi guys, no. not a word. Rihanna and Demetrius Orr keep a close eye on the screen time of their three children, but when sons Ahmad and Amir are using their tablets, getting their attention is tough. And I literally find myself saying they didn't hear you. It's interactions like this that interest researcher Dr. Sarah Domoff. She's co-author of a study that measures the level of interaction between children ages three to five and their mothers during screen time. 44 families were recording devices at home. We could listen to the recordings when children were watching different types of media and really hear what they're exposed to and importantly what their mothers are talking to them about. The results are eye-opening. One of our main findings is that uh, mothers of children um, in these homes were not speaking to their children about the media content that they were watching. In 54% of the recordings, there was no mother-child interaction when media was being used. We did have 33% where there were brief um, comments back and forth about what the children were watching, but for the majority of the time, um, children were not communicating with their mothers. Some recordings highlighted a missed opportunity for parents. When the child tried to get the parents' attention or try to talk about the content, but there was no response. Only 13% of the recordings captured what researchers call active mediation. Active mediation, an example would be um, a parent explaining um, the, the purpose of a commercial to the child, helping the child think about what's happening and even highlighting values that are important to the family. Active mediation has been found to help reduce the impact of advertising and other influences on children. But Domoff admits that's difficult for parents using technology as an electronic babysitter of sorts. It's just really challenging to be present while your child's watching television or using different types of media when you have other things going on, trying to take care of household tasks or deal with other siblings. Domoff urges all parents to think about the quality of screen time, not just the quantity. Parents have a powerful role in protecting um, children from certain messages in the media. The Orr family agrees. I think the interaction is important, but that's how I was raised. I, I, I spent a, a ton of time with my parents, and we spent a ton of time with them. And I do want them to have the ability to work the technology, to understand the technology, but you don't have to live on it all day to do that. Domoff says the next step is to record the interactions of fathers, siblings, and other caregivers, and ultimately use this information to make better recommendations to families about how children use all of this technology. Sarah Donchi, KPRC Channel 2 News.